In this episode of Puzzle Time, we have two brand new 3D printed puzzles from two brand new companies we've never had before. This is Poseidon's Vault. This is New Moon. Check them out in today's episode. As well, you'll find out about our Boxing Week sale. You're going to have a Boxing Week sale, 20% off site-wide, December 26th to 31st. Check it out in today's episode. Welcome to episode 106 of Puzzle Time. We are here to tell you today a bit, I uh, just want to start off with a bit of information on our Kickstarter. So Puzzle Master has a Kickstarter. Uh, it is, what are we? What are the three puzzles again? There's Lina? Quintus Extreme, Total Eclipse, and The Skull. There you go. Three very hard puzzles. Uh, we I just want to tell you that this, this Kickstarter is ending on December 31st. I think at noon is our, our last, uh, last day where you can get involved in it. It's been really successful so far. We've had a lot of people. I think we're upwards of like 300 people involved in it right now. Um, so yeah, go go to kickstarter.com. Look for that. This is our second Kickstarter campaign. And I wanted to tell you about a new add-on. Lene, do you remember what, what the add-on is? Yeah, you get a special wire puzzle with your three puzzles. Yeah, so I think it's the whole package. So it's because you get yeah. the three puzzles from the last Kickstarter and there's like a... Yeah, the new add-on is the, the new wire puzzle. So you get Sidewinder. It's one of our, our wire puzzles. You get it for free in that add-on. So um, yeah, go check it out. Add some puzzles in. Um, you can get them shipped to you for cheaper because you'll just go with your Kickstarter stuff. So let's get into today's, today's episode. We've got two 3D printed puzzles. One of them that we've been waiting for for a while. So um, let's get into the new moon though. Let's start with that. And yeah, you want to talk about this one? You, you tell us, tell everyone a bit about the new moon puzzle. So I originally found this on um, Puzzle Guy's channel on YouTube here. And then it led me to the guy who makes this is called Five Sided Hexagon in his company name. Mm -hmm. He is- And that's on Instagram you said? Yeah, on Instagram. So yeah. what's going on in this puzzle originally is- no, Hold on, hold on, before you get into that. What's the difficulty? So we don't know the difficulty yet. We don't have yeah. this listed on our site. Yeah, uh, so as we're shooting this, like this is just, just come in, we're shooting it, no no difficulty. But what did you think the difficulty From was? what I've watched from Puzzle Guys' YouTube video, it seemed like a level eight or nine to me. Mm -hmm. Now Puzzle Guy kind has a YouTube channel, he does lots of puzzles and he does solve it. He does solve it right in the yeah. end? Yeah. So there's a couple parts to this. Um, obviously there's a dial on the bottom here and there's all these like this moon. So if, if like you imagine this is like the full moon, half moon quarter moon whatever they are there's like all these just prints of the moon all over it on the dial on the sides of it and then on the top which is this um what do you call this i don't know what you call that slider puzzle yeah slider puzzle so there's different parts of it. and you can kind of see in the bottom of the slider there's different cutouts i don't know if this is gonna be super visible but you can see there's different cutouts on the bottom of those pieces um and obviously there's some sort of a lid here hey yeah that moves like that, and so it moves, moves there, and then the, the dial spins on the bottom. Can you get, okay, the dial doesn't spin on mine. How come it spins on yours? Oh, there we go. I lifted mine up a little bit slightly. Yeah, you might have it in a certain position where it's stuck or something, because there, yeah. is, there is, I know what's going on inside. I don't want to lead you to yeah. too much information, so, but I mean, this dial is going to help you solve this. Is, so there's, the first part is the top, and then you go down to here and you have so to solve the second solve puzzle. That. So there is two puzzles to it, but the, once you get the top off, it doesn't, the box isn't open yet. Right. And we saw in Puzzle Guy's video, there is a, like a little prize inside. We won't tell people what it is. There's a little prize inside. The uh, puzzle maker is a guy named Peter Vandermuller, and he's originally Canadian actually, right? From Calgary, Alberta, which is about, what, six hours from where we are in Saskatoon here in yeah. Canada. Uh, so he is Canadian originally, but apparently lives in Shanghai, China. So um, and he's a school teacher who does puzzles on the side. A school teacher, he enjoys yeah. 
making puzzles. Yeah, so. and I think that's a common thing with a lot of puzzle makers is that this is like not their main their main jam. They make they make their money somewhere else, and the puzzles is something they do for fun. So uh, yeah, I thought that was interesting. But completely brand new puzzle designer maker. We've never had his stuff in before. So um, again, one of those one of those guys coming out with a lot of the cool three D printed stuff. And I, I like this one. No, no, no website for uh, for five sided hexagon. Just the straight like Instagram. So, new company, new stuff. Um, I think we'll be the only one selling it. He was on his Instagram account. He said he's looking for ways to ship it in different places. Right. And he hasn't had anything yet. So I think we but, might be one of the first few people to be. Yeah, Puzzle Master is good that way because we have a whole shipping thing set up, and it's. Man, when you're when you're a small company and like trying to figure out how to make stuff, how to market it, and then how to like how to sell it afterward, like get it out, like that's a lot of work and that's a lot of effort. So like a lot of these companies just come to us and they want us to sell their puzzles, and often we're the exclusive uh, carrier of their stuff. So there it is, New Moon from Five Sided Hexagon. Go check uh, Five Sided Hexagon out on Instagram. If you, guys want, if you want to see the solution, go to Puzzle Guy on YouTube and watch his video from the uh, new one. I think he calls it like the rarest new something moon, or other. Yeah. yeah, whatever it is. But it's on, on his channel. Go go check it out. Um, really good stuff there. So put that one aside and let's move on to Poseidon's Vault. Now this is one we've been waiting for for a while. And uh, we've talked about this on our uh, uh, online buzz and that is where we got this right it was in our in the, the process of our online buzz research we found this puzzle I was supposed to look at what episode but I forgot to check yeah, what episode I, uh, we did it on go to our YouTube channel you can <laughs> you can search it there Poseidon's Vault it'll come up um, but we've been waiting for this and I, I've been, ex been excited about it I think it was again from a new company that we've never seen before never had in before uh, what's the company called it's called Elamite Prints Elamite Prints okay and uh, so this is a level seven puzzle, so it's not too difficult. Do you think we can solve it? Try solve it today. I've been playing around with it a little bit before, and it's just <laughs> confusing to me because like I can get the it drawer is. open a little bit enough just to see a little bit of what's going on inside there, but yeah. then I can't get it any further. Like as you can see, so, there's two tracks. What I see is there's two tracks, so they kind of line up with these yeah. that go down. But I don't know what's stopping it from pulling out of those tracks. There's something behind there that's stopping it from pulling out. Right. Now this is originally, they said, no, I don't know what this means, but it says the original idea was by a guy named Justin Makowitz, Machowitz. Um, I'm not sure if that's like the designer and this is just like a reprodu reproduction of his design or if there was some sort of like ideas that came from this puzzle or that were put into this puzzle from like this Justin Makowitz idea, I'm not sure. And then you get this paper with it um, that says Poseidon's vault is only able to be opened by a small number of people. So it's, supposed to be pretty hard but we're giving it a seven so i don't know i don't know what that means will you be able to get to this mighty vault or the task provide too much for you now there's a couple of rules it says no turning the vault upside down or on its side you must keep the puzzle flat or at most a 45 degree angle to its upright position to reset the puzzle hold the dr drawer shut i think it's supposed to be drawer but it says draw shut and turn it upside down and then back around you know what that means I don't understand what that means. Okay, what do you think? What do you think on this puzzle? So, so you said there's two tracks and you can kind of see them here. There's like two of these like posts almost there. Yeah, and so there's two tracks down on the bottom that line up with those posts. Yeah. And that's all you kind of could see in there was those tracks, but there's something that's stopping it from pulling out those tracks. Yeah, so and I the, don't drawer, know the drawer definitely moves like up and down all around. Like it kind of, you can move it. It's, it's fairly loose, right? Do you think there's a spin? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a spin on this. I tried to spin earlier when I was playing with it, and like, I don't know, I couldn't get anything mm. still. So I mean, unless you have to do the spin. Okay, but what else can you do? So if you can't flip this. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you guys have some better ideas. Check it out. Poseidon's Vault and this new moon are both available on Puzzle Master's website, puzzlemaster.ca. You can go there, check them out. Uh, we are always getting new stuff, um, especially here around Christmas. There's tons of new puzzles coming out. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's jump into the online, online buzz. Okay, so online buzz. You want to start? You want to start? What do we want? What do you want to start with? Let's start with the uh, Blackbeard's journal, actually. So this is a Kickstarter. We were looking at it. Um, it's a new Kickstarter that. 
I think ends January 1st. Uh, and it's a puzzle book. So it looks like just this like pirate theme, Blackbeard themed puzzle book that has 134 pages of 50 puzzles in it, along with like a story. So there's like a storyline of this whole thing. And you got to essentially work through the book, solve it. And then, um, yeah, there's lots of different puzzles in it. It says like you're like, it sounds like you're like ripping out pages, folding pages, doing a whole bunch of different stuff through this book. I thought it looked really interesting. Um, and it's by a company called Last Adam Studios. That's A-T-O-M, Adam Studios. A guy named Tom Farnell from the uh, London in the UK. So uh, check it out. It's a new Kickstarter. It seems like there's a lot of puzzle stuff coming up on Kickstarter recently. So um, yeah, definitely check that out. They had another journal like this that they did before. Um, there's another like nautically themed one. So um, I thought that was interesting. Um, yeah, go check it out. Blackbeard's journal on Kickstarter again ends January 1st. Uh, I'm not sure what time, but yeah. on January 1st it ends. So. We're starting to find quite a few more of those like paper puzzles. Like I know we got like some yeah. postcards in and different things like that. Yeah, so yeah they are becoming more Christmas popular. Postcards and things. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, Linnea, why don't you talk about the puzzlebox.creations? So this one I was searching around on Instagram today. That's where I find a lot of cool just different pictures of puzzles mm. and then you know we kind of browse from there and find their YouTubes and different things like that. So this guy had a chest puzzle box that I really liked. So he does a lot of the interlocking burr puzzles and like they're made out of wood. They reminded me a lot of the quality of Pelican stuff like that's what it looked yeah, like. Some really good stuff. It looked really good quality and like nice made puzzles. He did a wood version of the Thor's hammer we have in yep. metal. Our and so that kind of caught my eye too. But this chess puzzle box had like four different sides to it. And then there was like the panels came off. This is a big box. Like, yeah. right? This is like, it looked pretty big. Uh, was this one of the ones like Chris Ramsey's done some of these guys stuff, right? Yeah. I think they teamed up with a company called Riot Games and did a bunch of like some of the more complex wooden puzzle boxes that Chris Ramsey's had on his page, on his channel that he's showing off. So um, these guys are like, do they do my understanding was they just mostly do um uh like uh, specialty puzzle boxes they don't have yeah. a lot for sale it seemed like you could they said kind of that you could get uh i think it was three thousand to twenty thousand to get your own like puzzle box made and designed by them um and then i it seemed like every so often they release some of the stuff they've done um so that you get not a lot but they do a really limited releases of some of these that you can buy on their site yeah. Yeah, so like once you open, like you figured out the, I think there's like three locks on the front of this box and you figured out then you, the side, one side panel opens out. Okay. And then yeah. there's more puzzles inside, so it's pretty interesting. They look really cool. I thought these were like very, very unique. But again, it's high-end stuff that you're going to be paying a lot for. So either you have a lot of money or you just watch guys like Chris Ramsey who have a lot of money and buy these. So, uh, but interesting. Puzzlebox.creations on Instagram. Did they have a website or anything? I think they did, yeah. Yeah. We went and checked out their website too. So you can find that on their Instagram page. Go check it out there. And then last but not least, we're going to get into Andy is Puzzled. Bunny. Tell me a bit about this one. So this is a guy on YouTube. Um, he had popped up on our homepage. So I just went and looked at his stuff. And he does quite a few uh, solves and reviews of different puzzles. Mm -hmm. So he'll first release the review and then later he'll do a solve video on it. Oh, really? Okay. That's good. Um, the ones he did for the most part were secret opening boxes. So he did a couple of escape belt, uh, the escape rooms escape in a rooms box. In a box yeah, the so I think he ones. did like the Fort Knox and another one of theirs. Yeah. And then he did a John Claude box as well, the Flow Circus one. Okay. So he does pretty cool. He does really good descriptions on them, very clear and what of what's going on and everything. Hmm. So. Do we know much about him, where he's from or any of that? No, yeah. I couldn't find much information hmm. on his. He's new. I think he might be new to YouTube because he only started posting within the last like year. Okay. And yeah. he only has about seven videos on his page. Sweet. And he has about 17 subscribers. So if you really like his stuff, just, you know, like and follow him. Yeah. And it, like Linnea said, you can see Escape Velt on there. Uh, Escape Velt's a German company. That kind of has, I, I, for us, like it's the, the one of the second second company we found that does these like escape rooms in a box. Um, uh, Adventure is the first one, and like we've recently been uh, sold out on the Puzzle Master website of this adventure stuff. So if you're looking for some of these escape rooms in a box and want as like an alternative to maybe the adventure stuff, which I feel like got in first and we've seen been quite familiar with, 
Escape Bell is a great option. Um, they have some great, great puzzles and uh, very, very similar to what uh, Adventure does. And so there's a lot of these. There's, I yeah. think we're seeing more and more of these pop up, these escape rooms in the box out of, uh, and they're done on um, like just laser cut plywood, right? So it's. Yeah, and Escape cool Bell idea. just finished their new Kickstarter. So their new puzzle should be releasing within yeah, the new year. House of Dragon, right? Yeah. So that's, that should be coming out. We should be having it on the Puzzle Master website. Um, but again, Go check out Andy as Puzzled on YouTube and uh, one of the new guys we're finding up there. So, yeah, excited to see that. But that's the end of uh, Online Buzz. And again, the end of our uh, episode. Just wanted to remind you guys again about the Kickstarter that we're doing. That's the, the three puzzles. The... Quintus Extreme, Total Eclipse, and, and the, the Skull. skull. It always escapes my brain. But Linnea's got it there. And there's this new add-on that we've had to the uh, pack of three from our first Kickstarter campaign where you get this free Sidewinder wire brain teaser puzzle with it. So uh, go to our Kickstarter, support us there. Um, thanks guys for watching. Uh, that's all we have, Linnea. You got anything else? You can check us out on TikTok, on YouTube, on Instagram. Um, on, we have a newsletter you can subscribe to on mm -hmm. our website that we send out weekly information for you. So yep. Yeah, you'll find a lot of stuff in there. We'll have some special sales. We do have, um, keep an eye out for our annual uh, um, boxing, week, boxing week sale. Yeah, so we do have that coming up again. And you'll see a lot of stuff on there. 20% um, off site wide. So yeah, check it out yeah, if you like out. puzzles and you want a deal. For Boxing Week, yeah, for check that out for sure. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you again next week in episode 107.